Using these blocks from Home Depot, I'm going to show you how to build this wall on this slope, which also requires a truckload of topsoil. I'll discuss materials as I go and drainage for my specific situation, but you'll need to look into those requirements for your area. Let's get started. Well, it turned out all right for nighttime ditch digging. I was out here after dark monkeying with this last night and anyhow I am going to move this silt fence back on from like this section here uh, let me go to wide I'm gonna move this silt fence to the other side uh, I need a little bit more room just to get this trench opened up and leveled out in here. Called the dirt company this morning. Dirt is too wet and heavy for them to dig and come out here with. So uh, I'm going to take advantage uh, to move a portion of the silt fence, get uh, my fabric and pebbles and a part of a first course around the curve. Honestly, it might be a week before they can come out here with the dirt. It's supposed to rain like every day for a long time well it is about 12 20 on august i think it's the 24th um so in georgia so it's hot right now um it's overcast so that's making it less bad anyhow got the trench roughed in the whole idea is to try to keep it about um a little bit deeper than one block deep uh, into as much as possible undisturbed soil the geo textile will go in there and then the stone on top and I'll level and tamp it and I'm gonna start right here on this corner and get this level and straight and then start curving it around and then stepping it stepping it up and you can see when i dug the trench i stepped as as i went um ideally a block below if it gets a little deeper that's actually fine um if you're wondering about these these guy wires uh i did check and there is no easement the power company just like they just stick them in your yard and they've been here like 40 years um or close to it um, lay in the fabric the stones and get the first course going and hopefully beat the rain which is forecast for this afternoon okay got the fabric in the trench got some stone poured out I think this is two bags and then I've got a standby bag here for um, filling in and leveling and scooting around as I need it so um, ideally I'd actually like to use like a little bit bigger level like a two foot level but it's not within <laughs> reach and this one was so uh, we can see this first block is essentially it's all in between the bubbles once you get it kind of you just kind of wiggle jiggle it kind of into place kind of pushing down and working it around with the level on top. That's what's nice about using the little level is you can address that one block. Um, use the, this dead blow seems to work really good. It's not gonna break the block and it gives the force you need to with not too much effort to pound it into place. And then I will be using the bigger level once I get a, get a few going here um so just want to get as much of this in place on this bottom course as possible you know, so there we go two in place and it is pretty much rinse lather rinse repeat from there um it's hot 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 and you know could be raining here sometime this afternoon so i just need to kind of keep on going so as soon as you get your second block in um 
then start putting the big level across because what will happen is you could have you end up with each little individual block level but when you span across it you know they're all high and low in relation to each other so and see here we're level across these two but i've got a gap right there what i'm going to do is i'm going to scoot uh scoot some more rock under here and then pound that block back down level into place so that you know the level is just like it is right here no no rocking up and down all right so moving along and doing good got the three blocks in and level uh what would be awesome is if i could find my two foot level which i don't know where it is anyhow uh if you can lay the level down in the gravel before you start um and get that as level as you can you're off you're off to a good start right there and don't have to keep putting the block in taking it out and adjusting and finding out where your level is so you want to kind of get the stone level as you can first before you stick in the block uh so i will keep uh keep going here and get a few more in well it is well underway there's our proof of concept it is almost three o'clock it's like 90 degrees it is super hot this is the hottest time of the day for the next few hours and i have inside work to do so i'll go do that i well, just got a call that the dirt is on its way so excited to see what 15 foot uh, cubic feet of dirt looks like when it's dumped right in here. Let's all find out together. Just got my load of dirt. Let's see what this looks like. It is really good quality. Awesome topsoil. I mean, it's topsoil, topsoil. This is awesome. So um, that's 15 cubic feet or so. So uh, I think this is going to fill in nicely here and then be able to start to spread out over there and uh, you know, maybe another load. So that looks good. Man, oh man, this stuff is just awesome. It is so fertile, it smells so good, and it pulls nice and easy with the rake. I mean, that's all I have to do to pull and spread this stuff. So I'll have this broken down in no time. I'm gonna pull some more of this down, shut off the camera, and then next view should show this pile a lot lower. Just in case it rains, I'm going to get as much of this pulled down as possible. 
Well, got that much spread, which is a pretty good amount. I've built it up over two feet in that area on the slope and got it tapered in. So I got that done maybe in an hour, maybe even less, before the inevitable rain came.